Hey everybody, it's uh, Monday. It's the uh, it's the 17th of, the, uh, of April already. We're already halfway across April and we're still in the Easter season reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth, to see in all that is in them, you said the Holy Spirit through the mouth of our father David, your servant. Ah, uh, yes. And I'll skip a little bit here if you don't mind. And as they prayed, the place where they were gathered shook, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. I was struck by that. And, they, and where they prayed, the place where they gathered shook. I experienced that one time in my life. Uh, the, uh, I guess, good fortune going to South Korea. I went that far for a church conference, which is a little bit insane. When I was young, I was a little bit insane, I guess, doing crazy things. Went there by myself. I would never do that today. Try, I guess. But I want to go, and it actually wasn't, even, excuse me, it wasn't even a Catholic conference. It was this Reverend, uh, I forget his name now, Korean, had the largest church, something like a, close to a million members, and had a prayer mountain and heard things about him. So I wanted to experience, see what it was like. And his church was like one huge block building. I remember going there, and it was a Sunday, and I was just walking the streets, walking outside his church, and there was a crowd of people waiting to get in for the next service. And they waited, and Anyway, I remember the doors opened, and all of a sudden, there was like a herd of cattle. They just ran, ran into the church, running to get a good seat. You don't see that here. But it was in, so, wow. And it was, oh, and the church is huge. And just seeing these people running in to get into church on that Sunday. But that wasn't the experience. It was during the week I was walking, again, outside the church. And then you heard this buzzing, humming sound. It was like a, sw it's like a swarm of bees, you know, and you feel it almost, almost like a vibration. It was the people in church who were praying. I mean, they were praying together. It was like, wow, I never heard noise like that. And this is outside the church, and this is a pretty strong building. It wasn't, you know, wood. It was bricks, and you could hear them. It wasn't actually shaking, but man, you felt the, like the vibrations. People on fire. And that's here we have in the early church. They prayed. You know, I admit sometimes I pray I'm too lackadaisical, too comfortable. Maybe we should pray with force and power and believe the Holy Spirit pray in us. Maybe we're just too lazy. Maybe we don't expect anything to happen. Let's pray with that expectant faith. Pray out loud, especially if you're by yourself. Just pray now and then. Just maybe sing. Let your voice loose. Feel the power of the Holy Spirit as they did in the early church. God bless you.